2020 was the year that our world shut down. We spent the first half of our year in quarantine, no school, no graduation, no prom. As we progressed, our lives slowly became dominated by the coronavirus. We weren't able to see friends, family, go out to eat, go on vacation, and so much more. The economy went down, businesses failed, and lives were changed for the worse. We are constantly questioning when this pandemic will end. When will we be able to get back to our normal lives? Although, the one thing that shouldn't be questioned is the fact that wearing a mask during this time is necessary not only for your safety, but for the safety of those around you. This virus has been around for almost a year, and there are still people who refuse to wear masks. Wearing a mask is crucial to slowing and preventing the threat of the coronavirus. The first point I would like to touch upon is how masks protect the people around you. The symptoms of the coronavirus vary, some go unnoticed, and in some cases, the carrier may be asymptomatic, meaning that they don't have any symptoms. In this case, wearing a mask is so important because if you don't know that you're infected, how do you expect other people to know? For example, if you're at a grocery store and you didn't decide to wear a mask because you either forgot it or you just didn't feel like wearing one, um, you're waiting in line at the cash register and you cough on the lady in front of you, and she also did not decide to wear a mask. You don't really think much about it because you're feeling fine, but little do you know that you're actually an asymptomatic carrier of the virus, and you just infected the woman in front of you. And she goes on to infect tons more people, and that's how the virus continues to spread. The CDC explains that COVID-19 spreads mainly from person to person, through respiratory droplets, and respiratory droplets travel into the air when you sneeze, cough, talk, shout, sing. These droplets can then land in the mouths or noses of people who are near you, and they may breathe these droplets in, infecting them with the virus. So by wearing a mask, you can make sure that the virus is not spread to those around you. The next point I would like to talk about is how wearing a mask can protect yourself as well. You shouldn't leave it up to others to be responsible for making sure that they are not spreading the virus. Wearing a mask helps protect yourself against those who don't care enough to wear one, and it makes sure that you do not spread the virus yourself. Although wearing a mask does not completely expel the chances of you getting the virus, the possibility for this happening is very low. For example, if you're wearing a mask and someone sneezes on you, the chances of the respiratory droplets reaching your nose and your mouth are profoundly less than if you weren't wearing a mask. A New York Times article writes about how Dr. Monica Gandhi, who is a infectious disease physician at the University of California in San Francisco, gives evidence as to why wearing a mask can be beneficial to the wearer as well. She says, drawing from animal experiments and observations of various events during the pandemic, they contended that people wearing face coverings will take in fewer coronavirus particles, making it easier for their immune systems to bring any interlopers to heal. If you don't wanna worry about getting the virus yourself, wearing a mask is the simplest solution. Lastly, the more people that wear the mask, the less the virus spreads, and it may seem like an obvious statement to some, but people continue to walk around without a mask. If we all wear masks when we're out, the percentage of those infected would obviously drastically decrease. And it's such a simple rule that people still struggle to follow. And it's been almost a year since the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak, and people still refuse to wear masks. Health Affairs did a study on the effect of wearing a mask and the number of those infected with corona, and the results were as expected. There was a significant decline in daily COVID-19 growth rate after mandating the face covers in public, with the effect increasing over time after the orders were signed. These stats prove that just by wearing your mask, the spread of the virus is already significantly, significantly slowed. The argument over why people should even bother wearing masks has been going on since it became a state-mandated requirement. People argue that the masks restrict breathing, are uncomfortable to wear, and even that they are pointless and ineffective. Although I agree, wearing a mask is not comfortable. I don't like doing it, but it's practical and practicality should rule over being slightly uncomfortable when there's millions of people dying every day from this illness. 
In addition to the data and research supporting how beneficial wearing a mask is to stopping the spread of this virus, it just should be a reason enough for people to wear them. People have been faced with unimaginable challenges this year and have been given restrictions that have changed the world as a whole. We're constantly worrying about when this terrible pandemic will finally come to an end. The only answer to that question is that it will end once everyone starts to take this virus seriously. Nobody likes wearing a mask, but no one wants this pandemic to continue. So the answer is simple, wear a mask.